Hey guys, welcome back to Med School Moose. This is going to be USMLE Step 1 High Yield Concepts for Chromosomal Translocations. This is going to be a pretty short video because um, the chromosomal translocations are pretty straightforward. Uh, some of you are really going to like the, the idea here and some of you aren't going to like it, so it's not going to work for everybody. But, um, you know, I just want to put it out there for those who might think that it's beneficial. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is going to be a basic overview of all the translocations that you need to know for USMLE Step 1 and also for Comlex Level 1. So we're going to have Burkitt lymphoma, which is a translocation between chromosomes 8 and 14. Chronic myelogenous leukemia, CML, is uh, chromosomes 9 and 22. Mantle cell lymphoma is chromosomes 11 and 14. Ewing sarcoma is chromosomes 11 and 22. Follicular lymphoma is chromosomes 14 and 18. And then finally, acute promyelocytic leukemia is chromosomes 15 and 17. So let's start with the first one, Burkitt lymphoma. Like I said, it's a translocation between chromosomes 8 and 14. And the way that I do this, the way that I remember these translocations is by pretty much incorporating the numbers into the name. Like I said, some of you, this is going to be really helpful. Some of you aren't going to like it that much. If you don't like it, feel free to disregard. But I know that this is definitely going to be beneficial for some people out there. So Burkitt lymphoma, we have chromosomes 8 and 14. I like to make the 8 the B of Burkitt and then uh, the 1 is the L, and then the 4 here is kind of the FOMA. So we have Burkitt lymphoma. So chromosome 8 and 14 is the translocation for Burkitt lymphoma. Chronic myelogenous, myelogenous leukemia. Remember, this is chromosomes 9 and 22. So the way I incorporate it into the name here, the 9 is going to be that G, if you can maybe kind of see that. And then the twos here are going to represent the E's in leukemia. So we're going to have chronic myelogenous with the nine, leukemia with the 22. So chronic myelogenous leukemia is a translocation of chromosomes 9 and 22. Mantle cell lymphoma, this is the translocation between chromosomes 11 and 14. And the way that I incorporate this into the name is uh, the two L's in cell are going to be chromosome 11. And then again, just like we saw with Burkitt lymphoma, we're going to have the 1 and the 4 here uh, representing lymphoma. So mantle cell lymphoma is going to be a translocation between chromosomes 11 and 14. Remember this lymphoma here, just like with Burkitt lymphoma. Ewing sarcoma uh, is a translocation between chromosomes 11 and 22. So what I did here is the I in Ewing, I kind of just doubled it and made it two ones. And then the A's here in sarcoma are going to be the 2's. So U-wing is the 11, sarcoma 22. It's a translocation between chromosomes 11 and 22. This one I don't like that much, to be honest, and I feel like the better way to remember it is just with this guy. For those of you that don't know basketball, this is Patrick Ewing, uh, and his number is 33. And how do you get 33? 11 plus 22. So chromosome 11, chromosome 22 is going to give you Patrick Ewing, Ewing sarcoma. I like that way better, but, you know, whatever works for you. Follicular lymphoma uh, is chromosomes 14 and 18 in which the translocation occurs. There's two different ways that you can remember this one. The first one, uh, maybe a little bit of a stretch. I put the 4 in follicular, so follicular, but you have to remember to put the 1 before that. I know that's a little bit confusing. I really hope that that doesn't confuse anybody if you're watching this video, but if you're using the follicular lymphoma, you have to put the 1 here. And then the L in lymphoma is going to be your 1. And then the O in lymphoma is going to be an 8 this time. So 1 follicular lymphoma. Say it that way if it helps you remember it. 1 follicular lymphoma. Or the other way to do it is just by putting the 14 right there by itself. Follicular lymphoma. Again, one more time. Follicular lymphoma is a translocation between chromosomes 14 and and 18. Remember, one follicular lymphoma. And then finally, the last one here, ac acute promyelocytic leukemia. This is a translocation between chromosomes 15 and 17. So the way that I did this is the promyelocytic, the L and the O here, I made the 15. And then in leukemia here, uh, I made the L a 1 and then the I a 7. So acute promyelocytic leukemia is going to be a translocation between chromosomes 15 and 17. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Like I said, I know that not everybody's going to be a fan of this. This is going to be really easy to remember for some people, and it might trip some other people up. 
If you don't like this, if it, you know this wasn't helpful, please disregard it and go about it whichever way you've been studying. I just know that this is going to help a couple people out there, so I wanted to go ahead and post it. Um, but that's it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please be sure to subscribe, leave me likes and comments, suggestions for future videos, and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Good luck with your studying.